it's pretty easy to get off the first time there you go and um also there's these lip there's this little lip they have right here you can see a little yeah the little like hook um they go they hook into when you put them back they hook into this part right here they hook in there and you gotta to put them back you gotta gotta secure that hook and then push down so that they pop into those those two little dots right there those two little silver dots they gotta pop into there and then they stay they stay fastened and then you screw them in so make sure you do that because it's kind of i was wondering how to do that the first time around i'm like what the fuck so if i can get it out with one hand again there we go not too tough let's get this brace off oh that one came out pretty easy let's get this brace off pop super easy okay now um before you do anything else this cable obviously you see is disconnected i disconnected everything so um this this cable this ribbon cable is going to be clipped in to the laser and uh it's going to be clipped in like that and all you got to do is is there's a clip here it's going to be either white or brown um another tip for you guys is if you see a white clip laser online do not buy it um it's been said that the white clip lasers the ones that have this this little clip the color differs brown and white um brown are supposedly the good batch and whites are supposedly the cheap refurbished ones from J uh, japan or china or one of the two but um i got this one as a refurb from china but it's a brown clip so <laughs> i went with brown I made sure the clip was brown before I bought it. So, um, just another tip. It's just, you know, just to beware. You know, I don't know if it's true or not, but, you know, I figured, hey, everybody's saying it, so I'm going to go with it. So, you just pull that clip up. Undo the, the ribbon cable. Just let it sit. Just let it hang. Now, um, the part for taking out the laser out of the housing. Let's see if I need two hands to do it. Um, you're gonna want to pull you gonna want to lift these bars now kind of just lift out like that don't lift them out yet make sure they sit right you're gonna want to uh, take them out at the same time so uh, I would push this laser back um, you can grab right here and right here on the other side where's the white sticker that designates the model number just um just grab those two parts just make sure you're not touching the eye and kind of just lift don't worry about if the bar falls out or whatever no problem just leave it but um yeah that bar just kind of sits in there it's not really fast and you can see um but this bar however if you can see it if i can get my hand out of the fucking way um sits in there in that tube or whatever so now the laser is out the laser is out and you can just take the bar out pull it out simple and there's your laser all by itself there's another sticker with some other stuff on it but this is my old one so um just to avoid any fuck ups just put that one in there instead so there's your laser um i got my new one there's my new one as you can see the sticker says psxboy.com on it and i just didn't take it off i don't know why but um i just left it on there i guess kind of maybe to designate which one is my old one which one's my new one if i ever get them mixed up in any case so um yeah there's the new one and you just reverse the procedure it's it's not that hard just put the bars back on um, make sure they sit in these little cases snap the uh, braces back on and uh, put the screws in and, and put everything back together the, the reverse way so uh, pretty easy but um I mean I'm I'm not responsible if you break your shit indefinitely 
<laughs> but um, I mean, it's it's not that hard. Um, definitely, my my first go to would be if you have a warranty, uh, you shouldn't even be watching this video because you should be sending it in to Sony as we speak. Um, if you have a legit warranty, but I mean, you know, don't even don't even waste your time taking apart this and um, ordering a new one. Just send it in. And I mean, you can go two weeks without playing MW MW2. It's not gonna kill you. <laughs> so, but um, there is the whole thing in the top. So, um, if you have any questions, you guys, any uh, anything I didn't clarify enough, if I had the camera not looking at the fucking what I was doing or something like that, um, I'll clarify or I'll help you guys out as much as I can. But, um, it's a pretty simple task. Um, just have the confidence to do it. And, you know, um, good luck with it. Because, you know, uh, it took me a couple, uh, a couple tries because, you know, I, at first I forgot to put the braces back on. And, uh, um, the laser was falling out. Of the, the bars were not fastened. And, you know, just, um, just, I've made all the mistakes and learned from them. So, <laughs> so you guys don't have to go through it. So, um, but that's it. That's it. Um, maybe uh, a video showing how to put it back together if needed. But um, it's not that complicated of a procedure. You know, it goes in there. Do not forget to put the ribbon cable back though. Because if you put everything back together and your shit doesn't work, um, you got to take it apart and make sure uh, every cable is connected back. Make sure this one's back in uh, in the thing. Make sure you plug that one back in. This one right here. Make sure you put this wire back over the case and uh, screw that back in. Otherwise, this this wire right here is pretty important. Um, I had a kid uh, break his, um, and he said he it didn't work at all anymore. So not really sure what it does, but I'm pretty sure it's important. <laughs> so um, that's pretty much it. Here's the drive. Like I said, don't worry about these plastic things. They they move around. Just make sure they're on when you put the case back on. But, um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, that's part three. And uh, any questions or, you know, anything, just hit me up in a message or comment, and I'll get back to you guys. All right. Peace out, y'all.